Hello everyone and welcome to another MultiWAT workflow tutorial with me, Eldrin from Logis Lemire. Today I'm very excited to present a series on advanced exporting and integration. Today we're going to be looking at integration between Cinema 4D, Maya, and various other packages including an exciting new rendering package. And we're going to be using Alembic and some OpenBDB to integrate our assets into the different packages. So Alembic was created by Sony Imageworks and uh, it's been taking the industry by storm. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research over the last couple of months just understanding it and using it and it's really revolutionized my workflow. Alembic allows you to take a it's like a glorified OBJ format and it allows you to take data and cache everything and basically send it between all the big major players Houdini, Maya, 3ds Max, Soft Image, Cinema 4D, Modo, and you can take your animations out of these different packages with their different types of bone systems and deformers and modifiers and effectors and you can use everything together and there's like no limits to what you can create because you can create things in multiple different apps and bring it all together very very easily it's much much more there's a difference in how it kinda sort of works um, you know FBX allows you to transport rigs and modifiers and things like that and it's very good for what it does um, especially if you need to get a rig out of Cinema 4D that you might have waited and you take it into Maya and do a little bit more with the waiting systems there but Alembic allows you to think in a different way it allows you to export out your animations and utilize them for a very different technique so you could take a 3d model out of cinema and take it into a compositing package like nuke which will allow you to open up Alembic too and you can color correct it and you can do different lighting things on it and it's it's a much more streamlined format much smaller much more easier to handle and much faster to load. OpenVDB was introduced by DreamWorks Animation and it's kind of the same thing as Alembic a little bit it's kind of sort of different, different but it's basically a super particle format that allows you to hold particles so it's a very very good way to handle volumetric effects. Something that Alembic can do with particles and then you can take it into another package and texture the particles but Alembic is not optimized for volumetric type style animations. All right, so there are plenty of plugins that support this novel workflow. Um, X Particles, for instance, in Cinema 4D um, allows the importing of bin files from RealFlow. So you can import those bin files from RealFlow and you can do cool things in X particles and then you can export it out as a limbic. Um, Krakatoa in Cinema 4D now, um, which just got released um, either this year or last year, um, allows the importing of BGO files from Houdini. So you can take particle effects in Houdini and then you can render them out here in Cinema. Um, and in turn, you know, you could take those different. So Alembic and OpenVDB are like the major players, but this integration goes across the board. FBX, OBJ, the BGO format, the bin format, all these different formats. These There's a lot of different tools that are allowing integration. And it's very important because ultimately you don't want to be locked down to one package to render. Um, Matra does much better job with rendering particles than most other packages. Uh, advanced Render is extremely easy to use, extremely easy to uh, do alliterative kind of sort of creations and look development. Uh, Maya has Mental Ray, which is also very good in a number of different ways for doing different renders. And so everything needs to interoperate. And I just wanted to reiterate in this introduction um, that kind of sort of principle and uh, we're going to take this to the next level in the next few tutorials and show how all of this is working together with these new technologies and how we can very very quickly create things in different packages and bring them back here into Cinema 4D and be able to get much 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 cleaner animations uh, than we could ever do with Cinema 4D alone. Alrighty guys so look forward to uh, 
tutorial two in this series. Um, we're going to be covering the XWareF workflow and um, how we can use that alongside Alembic to do some really interesting things right here at home in Cinema 4D. All right, so see you guys then.